um, good morning guys it's um, 603 my daughter has just hopped in the shower and we got a um, nine o'clock flight here out of Melbourne um, and she still doesn't know she still doesn't know where she's flying. She thinks she thinks she's still flying here from Melbourne to Adelaide. Well, there you go, got everything. Time to check out. Checked out. Oh, she's right there. Yeah, and it's cold. Oh, wow. Wow, what a wet morning. It's not overly cold. I didn't say I was car when I walked out the hotel. <laughs> I was just discussing just as well we set our phone alarms because I arranged for a 6am wake up call in the hotel. <laughs> they never called. Shame on you, Revantis. Doesn't matter, all good, we're awake. There's our bus. How's that for good timing, hey? Time to check in, guys. 17. Mm. Breakfast is served. <clears throat> and I got my coffee. It'll keep me going for the day. I don't know what I'm looking at. Read it. Mr. Mitchell Decker, Mr. Where's the VA sitting on? Mr. Samuel Morton. Read, like, read the times, look. Before so we depart, land. <laughs> and she knows we're not going home. Next stop, guys, Gold Coast. So like I said guys this morning she had her suspicions and she's only just started she only just found out so wait a minute dad we're not going to Adelaide no. so we're just still at the Melbourne Airport and our flight's in there probably next what 40 minutes and the good thing is we're hitting 25, 30, 33, 35, but it's all like storms. So the show is actually paging. Paging, that's past Andrew Greenland, Robert Wiseman, and Amelia White. If you're already working for the terminal, you need to make your immediate direct way to get down to the toilet. 
So we were delayed for about an hour. That was torture, guys. Sitting two in the hours. airport for oh, two hours, walking oh, around. Oh, not even about an hour. Come on. Gold Coast, here we come. Warm weather. Bring it on. See you, mate. Oh, warm weather. Beautiful. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, you beauty. Climate is fantastic here. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's like another world. Oh, how nice is this? About what, 25, 26 degrees here, but it's been raining. Oh, it was definitely um, blowy coming in. The humidity is. Yeah, the humidity is just Very amazing. High. But going from freezing cold South Australia, Adelaide, into Melbourne, freezing cold, into this, this is, oh, this is like. Warm out here. Hmm. Bit of an issue, my phone went dead and I've been organized a, a free pickup to the hotel. So, get to ride in a flashy blue Mercedes, wherever he is. But mate, it was bloody, it was crazy in there. Um, all these flights were delayed and they all landed. Away. Yeah, we were, we were meant to fly out of Melbourne like, I think it was like 10 past, 10 past 9. Yeah. And then it became like quarter to 10. Um, oh, like you're kidding me. And then that's why I text you and then... And I said to my daughter, I thought, oh no, I said, my phone's on like 20%. <laughs> and here I am bloody watching movies on the plane. I'm thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> so I got down to about probably 15, I let it go. And then as soon as we landed, I checked my phone, it was off. I thought, oh, you gotta, <laughs> you've got to be kidding. So we've just died without using it. <laughs> yeah, I was all down with the brightness and stuff. So I had to sit near a toilet and charge my phone. <laughs> Oh, you made it. Yeah. Hey, mate, at least you know where you're going, because at the end of the day, I would have had to probably catch an Uber or maybe would have caught a bus. Maybe a bit of an adventure, but, you know. Yeah. I, I, I always wait. It's all good, bro. <laughs> so you lived here all your life? Oh, 45 years. Oh, wow. Yep. Well, I'm 41, lived in the biggest shithole there is, Adelaide. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, there's not much in Adelaide, mate. A lot of churches. It is. It's the home. <laughs> see, it's the home of the. That's what I say to everyone. It's the home of the church. Yeah, home of the church. Crappy weather. Even today, I think they've got a little bit of wet weather and storms going on. They were a bit cloudy today. Yeah, there was meant to be storms here. 
today. Yeah, we get some storms because it's like it's like our raining season now. Yeah. Which no, it's is always hot. <laughs> nice. Home of the tarantula, I told my daughter. Tarant what? That's where they come from, isn't it? Tarantulas here uh, in yeah. Queen Oh, it's Queensland probably. Yeah, we're Queensland. Uh yeah. Huntsmans. Oh we get huntsmans. I'm pretty sure the tarantulas are oh, a bit further up north, I think. Okay. okay. The probably trees, in the in the trees and jungles, whatever. Yeah, they eat birds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how big they are. I've got one on my wall. I bought years ago when oh, I yeah. come here. Um, well over 17 years ago, I bought a... Um, it's all it's all enclosed. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, put a sleep in that. Yeah, massive. So I put that on the wall. <laughs> no one likes it. You do. My, it's little, right. my little mate. <laughs> the Q1 Resort. One of the highest hotels in Australia and my daughter didn't know she was here we we're staying here but you excited mm -hmm. you're staying in the world's tallest building in Australia mm -hmm. Fam famous people wow yeah just a little bit tall yes get the next one The 45? Yep. Oh, I can go. Can I have the card? For one of the cards? No, I'm going to open my door. <laughs> Here we go. We're going up. Wow. We even get our own Wi Fi password. Seventy, eleven, seven, six, five. I reckon. Oh, forty-five oh four. Forty-five oh four. Where's forty-five there? Should we back this way? Yeah. Going okay, the wrong way here. Yeah. Right. There. Uh huh. Double door, look at that. Are you ready? Oh my god! Welcome to the King Pit House. It does cost a bit, but. And not as much as it is it how as it how much did this how much did this cost you please not as not as much as normally what they would charge <sighs> wow guys look is... at the view oh my God. all right guys i'll be back someone's a bit excited <laughs> i'll show you the room a bit after you so you've probably seen the beginning of this video not the beginning, but when we walked to the hotel, so I'll, I'll give you guys a, a full demonstration, a full view. So here we go. This is what they call the, it's more like a penthouse, but penthouse is upstairs. But this is the two bedroom spa resort, deluxe, whatever. I got it on a bargain. Normally, these rooms range in between seven and a half, eight thousand. The amount of time we're staying here for two weeks um i didn't pay anything to that i had actually money owing to me um, from booking.com so massive shout out the booking booking.com i'm not sponsored by them i wish i was maybe in the future yeah that'd be good um but yeah i got discount and i didn't realize it had money owing to me so i guess good things come when they do come you know so here we go guys a uh, full tour so we've got the washing machine and dryer things we did not have at melbourne so it was a good flight 
an hour and hour and fifty, I think. About two hours. Took from um, from Melbourne to the Gold Coast, and once we hopped off the plane, oh, the temperature was just wow. Okay, so you got all your essentials, you know, laundry basket. Um, I don't know what that is. Vacuum. So, how this goes, the room that we're in here, it's not actually owned by Q1 Resort. It's actually, this room is actually bought and rented out by an owner. So, someone like yourself buy this room and then you just rent it out. So, that's how it works. And I guess maybe Q1 make, make some type of money off of it, surely. Um, and that's why I think a lot of the reviews I've read about these rooms and it started started making me worried, especially with the amount of money I paid. Um, there was a lot of bad reviews and you're thinking such a five star hotel, one of the tallest, this is one of the tallest uh, skyscraper hotels in Australia, um, one, one of the tallest here in the Gold Coast. Um, there was quite a few bad reviews, you know, here and there, I and mean, you're going to get them any other state, any other hotel, but yeah, um, what it is is the hotel will really have no control of, of things that are run down and, and such and such. It's more the owner, so I guess the reviews go back to the owner. And they go, look, you know, if you really want to, if you want more people to come to your, your room and rent it out with this amount of money, you know, you're going to have to you know, keep up with the maintenance and keep it clean and make it look good from what you're paying for if you know what i mean because it's not a cheap it's not a cheap room though no. so guys uh, this is like a touch screen so you can just do calls and monitor and whatnot i haven't really played around on it um fridge bonus massive bonus so we got the fridge there um they don't supply a little bit of milk yeah, fridge freezer um got the oven got the stove overhead and all like all your cutlery and, and all that and um, plates two dishwashers i don't understand why two dishwashers uh, i'm pretty sure that is a dishwasher yeah yeah, yeah. fisher and pico fisher and pico i don't know Maybe some yeah some silly penguin has put two dishwashers but anyway you think maybe we're going to be yeah, excessively yeah. eating microwave not a safe this is the actual microwave so anyway um cutlery or not cutlery plate uh, cups plates all the things you need and then we've just got a couple of nibbles in there but you can see your groceries at least that way i can do my cooking you guys know especially the, the ones that follow my channel um yeah the um i'll be doing a lot cooking be like gordon ramsay go your hard whatever go your hardest so there's the kitchen there's my daughter's room i won't show in there because she's a bit camera shy that's normal this is her bathroom finally she's got her own bathroom she's really really happy so they give you like shower washes and, and all that but there is no because like i said this is rented out through an owner there's no housekeeping if you want housekeeping you got to pay that extra i thought well don't really need housekeeping it's called going in the supermarket and just buy your own stuff but yeah there's fees if you want extra stuff and there's a fee also um if you want like the cleaners to come by and clean it but no it's just i mean it's only me and my daughter we're not we're not going to destroy the place and it's cool just wash your own dishes and dry and put away that's it not a problem anyway couch which is quite nice plenty of couch Plenty of seats in. These are like, they look glass, but they're not. They're actually plastic, flimsy plastic, so they're quite comfy. But you can sit out there. It is a wet day, but believe it or not, guys, it actually, it is so humid out there. It's not funny. That's why I'm in shorts. Um, as believe it or not, I was, in, I was in jeans on the way here off the plane, and I was sweating. I had to get out of pants. Like It was just so humid. And we've got some nasty weather coming up. And the best thing is, because I like... I do like my nasty weather, I like my storms. Just sitting here in, on the coast and and just watch, um, yeah, watch a storm roll in. 
How cool is that going to be? So you've got your average, just your phone, flashy light. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Just your average stuff you get into a normal hotel. This is what I like. Your own private balcony. And to make it even better, you can actually lift these all the way up. So I won't lift it away because it is raining. There you go. I'll take you guys out of the edge. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to let that go. I said to my daughter, don't take any pictures hanging your hand out. Your phone drops, that is it. it ain't gonna work anymore. It'd be like pretty much 50,000 pieces on the bottom. But anyway, uh, couch, nice couch. Big TV. Um, it's got all your Foxtel and all that. That's all included. Surround system. Surround system. Um, sound system. Yep. Get it right, Benno. You can have, the, have these windows open. So I have, I called up a reception about, about an hour ago to have the windows unlocked. And I haven't rocked up, but that's, that's not a problem. I've got the aircon on. It's got nice air conditioning. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so there's my bed, king size bed, of course. TV, this TV here, my daughter was, Dad, Dad, why you get the best TV? Because this one here has all your, well, Disney Channel, YouTube, Prime, Stan, KO, Deezer, Tubi, ABC, Kid, Netflix, Vid, TV, Binge, you name it. I don't watch TV. You know what? I'd rather crack open a coldie, which I will be, I'm dying for a beer, and sit back and just watch, well, just watch the world go by on the beach. And if it wasn't raining, I'd probably be down there right now, but, you know, being with the sand and stuff and just get, but, you know what, I'm on holiday, I don't care, I might do it after, just go for a walk. But there's no surfers out there, you'd be mad. Anyway, moving on, soldiering on. So that's what I like. This is what they call the spa resort. And I do like my spas, even with a glass of red or a cold beer or whatever. So you got the glass window there and watching out the view. I love these big doors. Big, I'm a massive fan of these big glass doors and they're, you can't see through them. So um, there is something I don't like and I will point out in a minute. So I've just, Oh, there's a microwave. Another crystal microwave. <laughs> right, you want two minutes? Beep, put your meal in there. And your clothes out, which I have. Um, oh, Harold Boulder, I hope you're watching this, my brother. Hmm. Another successful noodle shower head. Hmm. I like to, um, I would think. With the price I paid, I was expecting maybe that can be like a, a, a blue neon. I've stayed at a hotel ages ago, and as soon as you, uh, it's activated with the water, it had like a blue neon, and it was awesome. And yeah, look, when the water came down, it was pretty fascinating. It's just more of a gimmick. But you got all your normal stuff there, sink, and then the spa, which I'm looking forward to. And you watch that in the view. So anything you use, like towels and and stuff like that, and you got the vacuum cleaner. It, it, it's basically I've rented this out, so it's it's um, and it works with the one upstairs. We're we're on uh, floor forty-five, so it works up anyone above us with the penthouse, which I'm I was going to get. But I mean, it's too big for two people. Maybe next time I come with a few mates or something, um, I might get the penthouse, go halves, if I can get a special and, um, yeah. But it's uh, what I'm trying to get to is, is what you dirty or what you use, you just clean. Get Like I said, you know, you vacuum the carpets. You don't have to clean windows, you don't have to go that far, but you just wipe things down. Just make it look pretty much respectable when you moved, moved in here the first day so now one thing I do like well dislike sorry is I do like 
especially when it comes into to night time and stuff like that so i closed my big door this was one of the complaints a lot of people out there were complaining and yes they do complain about a lot of stupid stuff I've complained about a few things that, you know, maybe people will disagree, maybe people will, will, will agree with it, but I will show you what I mean. Oh, okay, just pull it across. So this is night time, right? Night time is going to be fine, right? It's going to be black, it's going to be dark, whatever you need to do, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you do like your sleep over, or you sleep in, you've had a hard night, especially I might have one or two, I might go to the pub, whatever, see what happens. And crawl back here see how much lights in here as soon as the the sun's up which has come from the ocean um, yeah it's not it's not a, it's not dark it's not blackout so maybe what they should have done is had a curtain um, maybe a curtain right that you know maybe continuation of this one and it just runs along it's not it's not hard you know you want you get like in a, in a hospital or I've seen them in a hotel and they've got a rail that just runs along and then that way you can fully fully close it with the curtain um yeah then you know especially if um if you've got like kids and like newborns and stuff that need darkening you know uh, or if you need a good night's sleep or whatever i don't know there was just a, f a lot of comments bad reviews about it you know about the room not being darkened completely so I think uh, they had maintenance people um, put up um, like temporary curtain rods or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> I see where I go. And um, I see where I go. I don't know, I mean, I'm not fussed about it to be honest, but I mean, I do like it dark. But saying that, I never used to be a morning man, but Things have changed with Benno. A lot of things have changed in life, so I started getting up, you know, six. I mean, I was up at what? <laughs> um, six o'clock this morning, actually. No, 10 to six. 10 to six, I was up in Atlanta's hotel in Melbourne. Um, and I went to bed <laughs> about 11, and I just didn't get to sleep. I looked at, looked at my phone, and it was still like 4.30, quarter to five, and I was still wide awake, and I was just looking you know, things to do here and make sure everything, everything's all right when I come here in the Gold Coast. So, yeah, I've had like an hour sleep, maybe 30 minute max. So I'm not even tired. I think I'm more pumped up with the adrenaline, really. But anyway, more, less rebelling on, more touring. So you got the, the city life over there and you've just got massive skyscrapers. Um, it'd be good if I had like a window like window three day all around that'd be cool but yeah uh what else is there to show you yeah check this out i like this line how fancy is that it's a bit fancy you see a bit fancy george it's more of a a rich per people's not rich you don't have to be rich but you know they make it bit more fancy stuff you know the stuff that you normally don't buy at home um, and I'm not rich trust me I wish I was but life is not always about money guys I mean I I don't have a lot that what other people have and I maybe I've got more than what I could, but I don't I don't blabber or I don't blabber on what I've got you know um, I mean I when I was younger I'd put myself in a lot of debt jet boats and I mean I still got the jet boat but you know, it wasn't a jet boat it was it was you know when I first bought my first boat it was like a ski boat and souped up cars and stuff you know and you go to a forty thousand dollar loan and you add on another twenty so there's like sixty thousand and so on and so on you know you're getting yourself into trouble but you guys don't need to hear about that anyway I might leave it there I am definitely one hundred percent dying for a beer Oh, I love a Heineken right now. Oh, that'd be my like grand opening of the Q1 Resort. It's called the Q1 Resort and Spa. Spa, yes. Spa. <laughs> yeah, and um, tomorrow 
I'll take you guys down below. That was another thing too. It hit me. Um, the massive pool down below, and it goes all around, whatever. I think there's a bar sitting there, you can have a drink, cocktail, whatever, which I want to do. That water's not heated, apparently. Um, people are complaining on a coolish day, you know, 27, 28, it's quite cool. But mind you, it's not cold. I mean, I'm in, I'm in shorts. So, uh, I done a lot today. Yeah, there's not many in, I don't think there's anyone in there because I was, I was looking down. So, yeah, on a cool day, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit cool. Maybe they should have made it solar heated, I don't know. Can't suit everyone, right? Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, she just throws my flights. Shame on you. Teenagers. Um, yeah, so the the pool down, but then if you want to go for a swim, they've got an indoor pool. So I might even take you down there. Maybe a bit later on, but like I said, guys, I'd, oh, this is, I'd, I'm waiting to crack open a cold beer. So I'm going to go get some cold beers, come back here, pull up a seat right here, and just enjoy the beautiful serenity of Australia, but not just Australia, the fantastic the fantastic wonders of Gold Coast, I guess. Uh, should I add this in? Don't know. I was going to think of another name. Um, Sif is Paradise. Yeah. Who knows? But it is Paradise. Enjoy, guys. It's a little bit fancy in here, guys. It is raining cats and dogs here in the Gold Coast. You want to go fill the water? Okay. Want to go fill the water? Yeah, you can. Oh, the ground's cold. <laughs> She's keen as mustard. That is included. I forgot to tell you. Yep. Got plenty of gold coins. When I win a chicken dinner, no, it's not even working. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> 